Well, welcome to another Wednesday's Word. This morning I was thinking about Psalm 62. It's a psalm of David, and he's again in trouble. We don't know the external circumstances, but he's feeling oppressed. And in the middle of his circumstances, he looks to God and says, God, you are my rock and my salvation. And what's interesting, especially with the sermon series we're on at Cascade Christian Reformed Church, where we're learning how to garden our souls and asking, how is your inner world? Do you even take time to cultivate that thing that drives you, your soul? And he says, my soul finds rest in God. And the way his soul finds rest is in the concluding thoughts. He says, power belongs to God. And you'd think, okay, power means that God's going to control of all David's enemies, blast them away, send them into nothing. Power belongs to you, God. All power belongs to you. You're my rock. You're my fortress. And also belongs to you, God, is unfailing love. And that's how his soul finds rest. We have a God of immense power who could destroy our enemies. I think about Jesus in the garden when Peter's taking the sword and trying to chop off the ear. And if you're hitting someone in the ear, you're aiming for the head of the high priest's servant. And Jesus says, didn't you think that I could have a battalion of angels here if we wanted to fight like this? Power belongs to God, but so does unfailing love. That love means that God will repay those who have done harm, that God holds accountable those who sin, but he also... He also serves. He also had Jesus there in that garden ready to die. That's our God and that's how our souls find rest. And so when life is chaotic, when things are behind schedule, when you don't know what you're going to do next and how you're going to deal with the next medical crisis or that long enduring medical crisis that you're still dealing with or personal crisis, whatever it is, how does your soul find rest? You have a God strong enough to destroy any enemy that's in your way. Nothing will separate you from God, but that God is also immensely loving. His power is for you. His power is not going to clear away through your enemies, leaving a pile of rubble. He's going to clear away through your enemies, leaving a rebuilt and restored humanity where we can all find joy. So let your soul find rest in God, your rock, and your salvation.